Hello, welcome back to EU4. We are in this war with Congo, Portugal. That's all. Um, we're just... Well, I want to make my name massive. I want to have Zambia be my colour. And, and that one. Whatever that one's called. Inner Congo. I'm Inner Congo. Oh, you already know her. <laughs> I might need to go to Kilwa as well, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Fortunately, these level 8 forts are doing my head right in. Doing my head right in. So they are, so they are. Um, that's fine. We're just looting. Looting every day. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Morocco obviously wants these, I guess. Hasn't really said, but I guess so. Yeah, he wants Algarve. He wants the other ones. Does, does he have a claim? Does he have a claim? It's, hey! <laughs> doesn't have a claim. I'm not going to give it him. He doesn't even have a claim on that one, but whatever. He's occupied him. He probably wants him. What's his participation? Well, I don't know what to say about that. <clears throat> Unfortunately, they've taken their catapult back. Their catapult. But yeah, I want these two provinces from Portugal as well. Uh, but I need to take that other level 8 for it first before I can do that. It's a bit of a nightmare. What can you do? When you really need a poo in an English country garden. Uh, where's that? There we go. Where's that stack gone? Let's have them. Let's fucking have them. Let's fucking have them! They're only mercenaries. It's only money. <laughs> they're not real men, they're just men made out of coins. <laughs> cool. Where are they going? Further than that, unfortunately. That's fine. I want to bring these guys down here anyway, just to, uh... Oh, well, Morocco. That's, uh, that's, that's quite brave. <laughs> I think it must have been an accident. There's no way they would have done that on purpose. I hope not, anyway. Weirdos. Sure, why not? Who cares? Doesn't bother me. Just like the cold and that, that film. Wonderful, there goes Porto. So that's Portugal occupied. Um, looting every day. Hey, I'm not going to take any land from them on the mainland. Just uh, just the stuff down here. Just to make sure that my... Uh, oh, because I get that bit as well. It'd be amazing. Ah, oh, Brandenburg won a war. It's nice of him, isn't it? Whoa, Poland's back. Hi Poland, how's it going? Awesome. <laughs> I like to Austria too. A potential ally, but I'm not sure. No, no, I'm not sure. Break that fucking raw marriage with Saxony as well. Ah, I'll do it later. Who cares? <laughs> oh shit, the game is nearly over. Let me double check that this will be enough to make my name big. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, and I'll have four of them, so it will be enough. I don't need to go to war with Kilwa. They're silly Melindy. Silly Melindy. Can't be bothered with that war. I'll just leave them be. Who cares? <laughs> you can have it. You've had Flandre. This, this, this game's pretty over soon. Ah. <laughs> Careful, everyone. <laughs> Oh, too late. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. Let's, uh, let's join up with them. Them suckers. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Fantastic. Okay, let's go, daddy-o. No one lives forever. Come on, men. <laughs> Fight maggots. Ah, oh, stack wipe. Hang on, that deserves it. I can't do it. <laughs> I thought it deserved one, but I was wrong. Okay, you go back there, then. You, Mr. 24 Cannons, fuck off down there. Um, okay, now fuck off down there. You, Mr. Little... 
I've got too many cannons. Oh, what happened? There you go. Have a cannon. You having a cannon, mate? You having a giggle? Alliance. Ooh, it's close, isn't it? It's close. That is very close. Uh, hmm. Damn. They'd be a good one. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe they'll change their mind. <laughs> Was there anything else? Any other negative modifier? No. Hmm. Shame. Shame. <laughs> Zero isn't enough, unfortunately. How about Scandinavia? No, they wouldn't. <laughs> Outraged. This is that rage. I want to get it up as high as I can, though. It will be all the way soon. Castile. Eh, why not? Austria. Rivaled. Lost calls in it. You guys. I don't know why you hate me so much. Bastards. <laughs> bastards. Bloody bastards. Rubbish. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Diriculous. I'll leave them to it. Doesn't matter. All that matters is down here. Right here, right now. Let's get a siege. Um, a siege, a blockade going as well. Where's my thing? Cogs, ahoy! Sure. A whole 50 ducats. I think I can just, just about afford that. I'll take that as well now. Hooray, we win! <laughs> oh, they've changed. But the trust is nothing. Tis but a scratch. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Guys, this is the last war. We need to hurry up. Oh, it happened. Let's help. Hopefully we get there in time. Ah! Yes, we ate it. We we ate it. What? Let's say it again. Got a bit confused there. Just go there and we'll send them out there. Oh, they're going already. Eh? Okay, we'll go there then. Now nah, we'll go there. Oh my god, these are so bad. Is there a five five? It is then. We could try and kill him. Eh, whatever. Oh, and another first. We had Antonius the first before, now we've got Lawrence the first. Finding all the new ones, the new blood. <laughs> right, we'll leave a cannon behind. We'll sweat out the rest of them. Do 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 Got the wall breach as well, fantastic. Do 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 Again, leave a cannon and send the troops up there. Fantastic. Morocco's gonna deal with them now. Oh no, there's more Congos! How did that happen? Where the fuck do they all come from? Ah, man! Ah, man! Wasn't that bloody attitude? That attitude problem that they have? Rubbish. Oh well. Let's not get that one because I need to make sure I've saved up. We have pretty much nearly one now though, I just need to take that fort. Da, 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 da. Wow, that's cheap. Holy moly. From my ideas, reduce it by 56%! What? What's that from? That can't be right. Um, I don't, I don't have anything that does that. I got 5%. That can't be right. 
that cannot be. Oh, it's the number of ideas I have. Full plutocracy is there, 5%. But because I have so many ideas, it makes it dirt cheap. Holy moly, that's incredible. Holy moly, incredibly. <laughs> we just need that wall breach. Well, let's see if they're... Sometimes they're willing to do it, even if you haven't... No. No, not having it. It's just those two, Lando, yeah. Just need that one to fall. I've got a year. Come on. <laughs> Holy moly. It looks like it like loads there, but it hardly shows on the map. Although he did lose quite a lot. You can see. Ah, they had a huge chunk taken out of him, yeah. Ah, you can see. <laughs> right, guys, this is the last episode. Oh my god, come on, hurry up. Finish the siege. We don't have enough cannons. What's going on? March. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> April. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. May. Come on. <laughs> yes, okay. Right, Portugal. Portugal will seed those ones, that one, those ones, that one. Yes, good. Do other things. Uh, more reps are always fun. Any claims yet. Uh, yep, yep. Yep, whatever. Have it all. Just, just, just take it, man. Take it all. <laughs> uh, we'll cost diplo points. Can't be bothered. Right. Money. Not that much money. Oh, wow, really? Not even a bit of money. Well, fine. Fuck you then, Portugal. <sighs> oh, wow. Look at this. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm rest. Nope, I need to put it up. And... Uh, that's gone over to Mexico Zone. Ah, oh, check it out. Looking pretty good on the Mexico Zone. Yeah, I actually think so. Right. <laughs> that name's got a little bit better now. It's st slowly making its way down. Oh man, okay. Congo. Soon you will be mine. These are the important ones. Uh... Cool. Cameroon to Aragon, indeed. You ready? No! It wasn't enough! No! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I was sure that was enough, because it's 50%, isn't it? You have to have 50% of them. That is 50%. That's 50%. Oh no! My name was nearly so big! <laughs> oh, I've, only got, I've got six months. Is it possible? I don't think it is. I'd have to get all the way over there. Siege down... Level 8... Well, it took me half a year to siege down one level 8 for it. Let them get over there, siege down two, and... Oh, that's infuriating, though. I could have had Dutch Africa right up the middle there. Damn you, Kilwa. I should have taken them out when I had the chance. God damn it. Oh, well. What can you do? When you really need a poo, in an English country, garden. Uh, that's already in a trade company. I've done them already. A trade company. Oh, ivory. Ebony and ivory. Living together in perfect harmony until I ivory comes and steals all of Ebony's land. And then they are living in harmony again because 
There can be only one. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? Oh man, what is this? Right, let's have them. Fuck you, have them, son. <laughs> Actually, I need them, don't I? Yeah. Lawrence, if that is your real name. <laughs> cool, right, okay then. Well, well that's disappointing. That's, that's disappointing, shall we say. I wanted Dutch Africa like that, but um, oh well. I was wrong. Uh, let's get Corin. Uh, should have enough. Fantastic. Oh, can't do Cameroon, but they only cost 10. Oh, can you believe this? What is my overextension? Oh, that's fine. Can you believe it? Let my people go. Oh yeah, we get loads of these now, don't we? Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> Just the one. Oh, I was so really disappointed about that. <laughs> I was really looking forward to that happening, but it did not. Oh Jesus. How many slaves did they have? Christ. Ivory grain, fish grain. Trading in slaves? What? How? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay, cool. Well, it looks pretty neat going across the sea like that, doesn't it? Not on my watch. Not on my Nelly. <laughs> or my watch. Fish, naval supplies. Ah, oh, come on. Need more ivory. Damn you, Kilwa, it's all your fault. It's your fault we don't have ivory. <laughs> Literally the only reason. Not the fact that I could have just done it before, but decided not to. No, just the ivory thing. Just, 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 uh, just your fault. I wanted those goods. They could have been mine. But I dallied and I dillied. And I hit him in the willied. <laughs> Revolutionaries. Oh. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Um, I don't think it's going to happen though, somehow. <laughs> Not enough time. They are surprisingly not getting attrition there, which is impressive. So I might to get the whole game without a coalition firing, which is <laughs> mightily impressive, let's be honest. <laughs> so, um, we'll wait until to the end of the, uh, end of the year. And we'll just see, see what happened. Is there any marshland up here? Just the one. I'm not making my capital part of them. <laughs> Fucking marsh. Anyway, thinking for the marshy march achievement, but I'll just do that. I can do that another time. I could start a game as hungry and create one if I really wanted to. Release someone. I think that's the way you do it. Ugh. So, well, how about that? How about that? I'm not sure if my my guys have colonised anywhere else whilst I've been busy doing other things. So I will just um, take a screenshot so I can update the map that I was doing. Do do do. And I need to update it with this as well now. Oh, what a nightmare! Can't believe that. That's so infuriating. <laughs> Oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Well, oh well, oh well, my mate John. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Tis the end of the game. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh. Uh, yes, I'll do that. <laughs> Let's save the game here as well. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. This has been the first full campaign that I've actually put up on YouTube. Um, oh, oh well. Uh, I, yeah, I did. I did put the. Um, I did have the Brandenburg campaign before this, obviously, but it was. Uh, I had to restart that a couple of times, and I missed out a load because I decided to not not record it, and then I ended up doing really well. And I thought, oh, I'll start recording it now. But yeah, but yeah. Um, in fact, this episode's gone a little bit short. I will just stick it on the end of the last one I did. Just for an hour long final episode. Um, oh, is there anything funky I can do before the end of the game? I don't think so. I kind of, I kind of really done everything now, haven't I? I'm not going to make ten subjects. Uh, 
we'll just have a quick look around here. We spent pretty much the whole time with this, whilst we had this government forum with the, uh, with the status in power. I had the oranges in power once to get a Sinus Apple. But we've ended up with all of these great modifiers. Excuse me, the merchants have been incredible. Read about these in your own time. Uh, but yeah, it's all pretty damn good. Ended up with quite a good army in the end as well. Lots of morale. Wow, look at all this. There's a lot of colonial things. I used to have the um, the other... There's Exploration and Expansion, isn't there? I can't remember the one I got rid of. But I got rid of one of them because I didn't need them anymore. Which would have had given me more bonuses then. Um, let's have a look. Expansion. So I got rid of Exploration and got a refund. Because Expansion has uh, useful things in it as well, like an extra merchant, recruitment time, diplomatic relations, shipbuilding time, trade power. And that one is really good. Whereas the um, the Exploration, I think, was just Castle Spell against Natives, which I didn't really need anymore. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'd say we started off with Defensive because that's always good. Some really useful stuff. Then we went for Trade to bring in the money. Then we went for Exploration, I think, then Expansion. Then Quantity, Plutocratic, which is really good. I really like this idea group. I think monarchies miss out a lot by not having this. But of course, monarchies can Royal Marry as well, which makes the other parts of the game easier. But you get mercenaries, you get more morale. That's why I have so much bloody morale. National Unrest minus two, that's amazing. Up yours, humanist ideas. <laughs> An extra merchant, which is really useful. Good produce, which is great. Caravan power, which is great. Especially for trading games, I mean. Recovery speed is good. And the tech cost is really useful too. So that's such a good idea group. Really, really good. Then I went for diplomatic because I was losing my subject. My subjects were in danger of rebelling. They did rebel in the end before I got this, unfortunately. But then I did get it and they never rebelled again. Um, then we went for quality, which is always good. And of of course, the, uh, the ship things were, as, were actually useful for me. <laughs> then usually not, are they? They're just like three that you have to go, oh, there's a better click the button then, and then you get to the good bit. But yeah, and we never finished Humanist, unfortunately. We never got our Tolerance of Heathens, and we never got our Idea Cost. Oh, I could have really done with that Idea Cost reduction as well for the rest of the ideas that I need to unlock. Um, Well, that went well, didn't it? We never did the canal, unfortunately. Never had enough money. If we look at our economy, we're making so much money, and that's even with all of this going on. So many mercs. Does it say how many mercs you have? No. But yeah. Money is not a problem. Making so much from trade. Look at that. And of course I'm collecting in Genoa and Venice as well with all those light ships, which is getting me a load of money. I have to remember that little trick. That's good. Quite a bit from tariffs as well, but um, actually a sizable amount. You don't normally think of, you know, colonial nations aren't for tariffs, they're for trade power, because they, they transfer you 50%, but that's actually a hefty amount. Of course, what do you expect when your colonial nations cover all of that area? Um, taxation is pretty good as well. There is the trade, you can see how much I'm making there. There's the tech, never finished, but that's fine. Nothing important comes after those ones anyway. Splitty, pretty good. We are overextended because obviously I just conquered all this land, but it's all pretty good. Never had any disasters. There's a religion. We're all converted. All nice and Protestant. Lovely jubbly. Lovely jubbly Jew. Apart from the trade areas, of course. But the bits I colonized fine. We have got a Protestant Japan, which is incredible. I think that's really cool. Uh, we were defending the faith. Let's take it again. Wing. There we are. <laughs> Just in time for Christmas. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's the military. You can see plenty of troops, plenty of sh ships. Look at all this. Holy moly. <laughs> uh, let's turn the navies back on over here. There we are. So you can see that Genoa and Venice, rather than having 10 in all my trade nodes like I had before. It's just like that now. Easy peasy. My tradition ended up pretty high because I fought so many natives and did so many stack wipes that I ended up peaking. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Those are my subjects. A bit uppity now, but that's just overextension. My diplomatic reputation's gone down. But yeah, otherwise, they're all pretty, pretty good. All pretty happy. No one else, just trade companies. 
Mexico Zone, Carbonary, Brabant, Zill, Manhattan, Colon, Ludovicana, Newfoundland, Bordland, St. Frank, Tasmanland, and the imaginatively named Alaska. And there's the estate just for good measure. Ooh, 50 50 50. So let's, uh, let's do something about that. Take your money, thanks. Uh, <laughs> it's a shame I can't uh, can't do that one yet. Oh well. So yeah, there you go. That's that. Not really a lot to say. Oh, we look at some of the map modes. Development. See, these guys haven't developed a lot, but they've just got a lot of land. <laughs> they've got a few really good provinces. Mexico, for example. Mainly their capitals that are good. Yeah. Interestingly, uh, Newfoundland ended up colonizing all the way down here. They actually cut, cut off Manhattan from colonizing at all. If we look at the colonial regions, that's the wrong one. Yeah, so they've colonized all down Eastern America. And I believe so have Lodovacchiana. Yeah. But yeah, my subjects have really high force limits. St. Frank looks bigger than it is. That's a wasteland, and that's a wasteland. And that's a wasteland as well. So is that. But yeah, Newfoundland's definitely one of the richer ones. As you can see by the colonies they managed to start. This is mine. Always mine. <laughs> um, Brabant Zill and Emda here. I wanted to conquer Peru, but I decided not to in the end. They got too big and strong. Um, and they ended up as an ally. And they uh, they occupied Brabant Zill's capital for me, which enabled me to win the independence war, which is pretty neat. Um, Chile was down here, but I had to conquer them because they were orange. They had to go. I never got around to conquering Yemen in the end either, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, yeah, let's look at the culture. I did have it open. You see, all looking lovely in Dutch, apart from that. What's that? Ugh. Oh, uncolonized, that's why. That explains it. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Just the French blemish on the land. They never finished converting these. They're still English. They must be doing them, though. Surely. Well, they might not have the diplo points, I suppose. Yeah, trying to keep up in tech. Yeah, they're Portuguese, obviously, because I just took them. Um, yeah, I left I left all the natives in there. <laughs> but everything else, as you can see, is blessed Dutch. Based Dutch. Apart from the natives. Based Dutch. Oh, wrong one. Based Dutch. Um, it's Dutch over here as well. I never converted them, didn't need to, but it's all Dutch. Never converted Japan, although I could have, but I didn't have the time, unfortunately. It wouldn't have finished. Wouldn't have finished before the end of the game. I was going to start, but no point. Dutch, 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 Dutch. This was Castilian, of course, but they've converted it. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Fantastic. Not Dutch down there. But, uh, yeah. Looking pretty cool. And it's accepted. Nope, that's accepted cultures, so... This stuff doesn't matter, obviously, because it's all trade companies. That's not trade companies, but they're Protestant, so they're fine. And all these are Germanic. So they're all accepted. Fantastic. Um, what else? There's the estates, just for your interest. There's the HRE. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see. I'll set, take your screenshot or something. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time. Well, we're not finishing quite yet. La 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 la. And that's that. Fantastic. Yeah, so I did a lot better. <laughs> about than anyone else. I was never first in the end, unfortunately. But I did get... Oh, I never looked at achievements. Can I still see them? Bugger. I got loads of them in this run anyway. You'll be able to see them throughout the, the run. The most notable ones were the, uh, the Japan one, Land of the Rising Sun. I got All Your Trade Belong to Us, Subsidize My Love. Um, the one about naval morale. There's a few I wasn't even, wasn't even going for. I got Colonial Management, I was going for that. But yeah, pretty good. I got Jaminti Andre, obviously. Finished off with high stability, which is always nice to see. Let's see, we had the second largest army, behind the Ottomans, I imagine. Largest navy, most provinces, highest province value, highest income, and highest trade income. Fantastic, and his Iron Man. Cool. I'm not even anywhere near my force limits, look at that. <laughs> So which one was mine? Here we are. Uh, 
Yeah, Dutch War for Independence, Conquest of Utrecht. Yeah, whatever. Oh, I saw Brabant Zillion. War for Independence. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? I saw him. I saw him there somewhere. Arr. Dutch Conquest of London. It was before that. Way before that. I think it was after the Aragonese one though, wasn't it? Oh, I'll tell you what. Needle in a haystack. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.